My name is Zachary Pastor. I am the technical representative for exit devices here at Sargent Manufacturing. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to change the spindles in our ET lever trims. We have a few different types of devices that take different types of spindles. Not all of them can be changed out in the field, however, most of them can. For example, today we're going to be changing from a square spindle, which is typically used on our mortise exit devices and our surface vertical rod devices, and we'll be changing that spindle to a crosshair type spindle, which is typically used on our rim exit devices and our NB no bottom rod surface vertical rod devices. The first step to changing our spindle type in the back of our trim is to remove the truss head screw and fusible link. Once that is removed, we can then go ahead and remove our retaining plate. Lastly, we will want to remove our lever return spring from the groove pin. Now our spindle will be free to remove from the hub plate and the lever. You could then take your new type of spindle from your spindle kit and put in place of the old. The first step of reassembling will be to replace our lever return spring. You want to be sure to put the straight end back into the hub plate and then you can take a small flat head or pointed tool to put back over the groove pin. Now we can reposition our retaining plate back over the spindle and go ahead and re-secure our truss head screw. We have now successfully changed this ET trim from having a square spindle to a crosshair spindle, which will now work with a new set of devices. So here we have a couple different charts. On the top, you'll see it's showing you how to specify and order an ET trim without an exit device. Down below here is showing you which type of device and type of spindle each suffix correlates with. And on the right side here, you will see our different spindle kits that we offer for each type of these spindles and devices. Now a quick example of what we just did, we went from a square spindle, which you can see here has no suffix, to a dash eight crosshair spindle. And if you look at our spindle kit chart, you will see no suffix for inch and three quarter would be a 730-1 and a dash eight suffix for inch and three quarter door would be a 730-7. And that is how you change the spindle on the back of our ET lever trims. If you need any further assistance, please feel free to contact us at 1-800-727-5477 or send us an email at techsupport.sargent at asaabloy.com.